but absolutely brilliant scholars in their field and bring impeccable scholarship to what they're saying and so it was refreshing uh, to see these two brilliant scholars go head to head um, I think N.T. Wright's thesis in the debate was that as we look at Judaism uh, in the first century that there was a shift in the trajectory of Judaism that Christianity seemed to present a number of new features that Judaism didn't have and those features needed to be accounted for and so one of the main keys of N.T. Wright's expose or defense of the resurrection is that there was a two key split in the doctrine of the resurrection which was definitely a massive change in Judaism because Judaism expected a resurrection but it was the at the end of time <coughs> here we have a two split in the Christianity we have the resurrection of Jesus and then we're going to have the resurrection of the dead in the at the end of time so there's a two-way split there from general uh, Judaism also resurrection is central in Christianity where it was on the periphery of the very Judaistic sects and the other mutation was that nobody expected the Messiah to die and rise as the case in Christianity there were a couple of other issues that anti Wright brought up but I think though the, the key was the issue about the two-way split uh, in the idea of what a, the resurrection was about uh, whereas Judaism it didn't center on the resurrection as much as Christianity and it didn't have this two-way split and so Dominic Crossan acknowledges that this is a very significant and very important point that N.T. Wright he believes has proved his case and that this needs to be accounted for Dominic Crossan counteracts this issue that uh, what what um, NT Wright is saying and brings the debate about interpretation of the resurrection whether it is literal or symbolic and time and time again Dominic Crossan brings the point and says well it doesn't matter whether the resurrection is literal or whether it is symbolic for Dominic Crossan what matters is what do we do with it what do we do with the resurrection whatever your position is what do you do with it how does it work out in practice for Dominic Crossan the political and social implications of the resurrection are absolutely paramount and he wants to know what's the cash value of your particular belief NT Wright then comes in and corrects Dominic Crossan and says well actually I can get you where you want to go but I think 